So it looks like we are getting started now, ladies and gentlemen. So if you're walking around the hall, come on and take a seat as it is nearly time for the grand final here between Team Gravity and Eclipse. The winner taking home $18,000. Let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen, as the joust has just begun. And it looks like Eclipse will take early possession. Yeah, Eclipse, one of the best jousting teams that we have seen. However, Gravity did talk to us in a couple days ago saying they're actually going to be better than most of the teams out there. They've been able to figure out a way to be even faster across the field, but not working out for them off the bat. But Eclipse going for that standard slow play style, working off their passing, trying to force Gravity to get in their faces, and trying to waste as much time as possible. We're looking for those scores, but Vitrix gets a great punch. He's actually going to recover the disc here, but what's the play off the back of it? It's going to be unleashing the disc to the other side. However, Eclipse is very fast to race to the side. Is it going to be fast enough though, to stop the goal attempt? It looks like, however, the attempt from VR Jersey here to go in and score as well is going to be just off the mark, and that is going to allow the disc to be freed, at least towards a midfield area for right now. Neither team with controls. It has been set loose, but Simeon is going to try to pick it up. Has to quickly just slap it away, though, as he's just completely surrounded by members of Team Gravity. Going to be recovered by Eclipse, though. Going to be looking to actually push this one forward. It's going to be a one-on-one. -on -one. Trex won't be there in time, and Simeon I don't know if you guys can hear that on the stream, but I can hear it. He's right next to me. He is pumped up, and that's the first two points going to Eclipse. That was fucking sick. Great job, guys. Great fucking job. And, we can hear and that's why we love great. VR, guys. <laughs> Proximity <laughs> chat is fantastic. We can hear them getting into it, getting heated up as well as Eclipse, as you said, will be first to score here. That does mean, though, and you can see it at the top left of the screen, that now Team Gravity is going to be getting a joust advantage. The initial the initial launch between the players will spawn the disc in the middle. Everyone after that, however, is going to spawn it close to the team that was just scored upon. So as they move out into the arena, as we'll see, they'll have an easy time picking up the disc, and it's just about if they can pass it appropriately. Oh. And they're doing a great job of that right now, as VR Jersey had it for a moment, unfortunately was left alone, completely surrounded by members of Eclipse, so it is going to be picked up by the blue team instead. And sent the other way. Yeah, Simeon with a great interruption there, a great little interception as the uh, disc can be cleared on the high ground. Looking for a potential re-grab. Actually, two players have been able to push up forward. Jersey looking to recover the disc. Simeon's going to be there. The pass back to Aventer who might look for the shot, and there it is! The big German able to pick up two points and tie things up. An attempt to block it, I believe, came in from Lemming, if not one of the other members of Eclipse right there. It didn't catch the name as it all happened so quickly, but unfortunately it was just a little bit too high of a shot. Wasn't able to reach it with his arm, so it sinks in anyway. And we see the responding point immediately coming in from Gravity, both being two-pointers so far. We should remind you folks out there that are watching that might be newer to Echo Arena that it is also possible to score three points. There's a bubble that surrounds the goal, and if you throw the disc from the outside of it and it isn't touched by another player before going inside of the goal, itself, it'll net you three points instead of two. Just don't slam dunk from the half court, half court part. <laughs> Blue. Just bringing that up. Every I gotta, time, bring, I gotta yeah. bring it up. Yeah. But anyways, we do see Eclipse though with control of the disc. Paldor, the one with it in his hands, can actually pass it off with a bounce. And actually does get locked up a little bit here, but Simeon's able to recover. Lemmings actually pushed up aggressively. Gets the disc back to his hand, but look at this. Eclipse do not miss many passes, if any at all. You can see just the disc work able to nice. pull off successfully, and that was a long shot Let's coming go. in. Let me. Oh, I think they muted the voices. I was, I was really hoping to hear something. A pass directly off onto him, just outside of the bubble. And you can see it there on screen now, by the way. It's that kind of semi-present bubble that surrounds the goal. That's the three-point line, and they were able to shoot it from just the outside of it, netting them the extra points. Now giving the joust advantage, of course, to Team Gravity as we get ready for our players to launch into the next volley. But Eclipse, of course, now with a heavy three-point advantage. Thankfully, still plenty of time left at three minutes and 13 seconds remaining. So we should look for Aphantera to be the one to actually pick up the disc off the bat, as is the QB for the team. Acts as a, an anchor, is the one who initially picks up the disc and passes it off. And again, it gets very aggressive with a, a very fast pass. There was no need to do that necessarily because Eclipse wasn't challenging off the get-go. But now in the meantime, Paldor with the disc in his hand, looking to go for the pass towards Lemmy, looking for the bounce off towards him. And look at that, fantastically thrown. He's going to uh, pick up the recovery and the three-pointer. going to just barely miss, going to ding off the rim. And Jersey will be there, and Jersey slaps it away. Sends it back to the midfield for now. You saw quite a few players from Team Gravity trying to pounce on Eclipse as they took initial possession too by hiding behind the islands. And now we just have a huge scrap. Pretty much all six players diving in, and this could lead to a goal. As yes, Eclipse get away with it. They're even able to make it as a long shot as well. Three points scored by them. We'll send them up to eight now versus Team Gravity's two points that they have. Bucket boost. Okay, there's a little bit of comms. There's a little bit of comms there. I did hear a little bit of that okay, one. Right, uh, but keep in mind, Eclipse did win the first map when they you. played against Gravity in the winter bracket final. So you can't count Gravity out at all, especially with two minutes and 39 seconds left on the board for these teams. But we do have Gravity with the one match lead, most importantly. So two to win for them, three for Eclipse. As we go into the next joust, Gravity can have the initial control. Aventura are going to be the one to pick it up. And again, quickly pass it away. No one's challenging him. But it doesn't seem like Gravity want to play aggressive and fast-paced. Or sorry, they do want to play aggressive and fast-paced and not play slow. 
A little bit of a fumble there from Team Gravity, and that's going to put partial possession into the hands of Eclipse. You can see, though, there's still quite a few members of Gravity in the area, and now it's going to be a re-grab race over to the goal, which oh, yeah, obviously you can see Eclipse oh, yeah. will win single-handedly right there, even taking a few seconds to gloat about it. Oh, that is going to be a slam dunk. The game even confirms it for us. Another two points to Eclipse as they now hit double-digit territory. There was actually, I think, a chance they could have passed one out to Simeon and go for the three-pointer if they wanted to. I think they might even have thought about it. But in the end, just dragging out a couple more seconds, which we saw in the last match with Metamarks against Eclipse. A couple of seconds could change the tide of a match, especially with how close it could be. However, we're not really seeing it here. 10 to 2, Eclipse definitely looking like the better team at the moment. And Gravity, from the talks we had with them, with the confidence they had, they're not really, really living up to it. Now, they were talking a lot about their confidence, especially with their capability and, and speed, more importantly, that they could use to get across the map with their regrabs. And unfortunately, we just haven't seen that as of yet here. It's really been Eclipse that's been dominating that aspect of the game, which, especially as we entered Season 2, became a very, very important part of the meta for Echo Arena. Well, right now, VR Jersey's got it. It's going to be him versus Palador for another potential goal off the backboard from VR Jersey. It will be inside of the bubble. So it'll only be two points, but at least that gets them back on their feet to try and make a comeback here. Yeah, helping the morale, I think, too. Two points, obviously, is not enough to help close this gap, but it's better than getting zero. And I think they're going to finally feel a little bit of a sigh of relief here off their shoulders as they do push in towards the next Joust here, which Eclipse will have control. And again, I'm imagining with Eclipse with this kind of lead, typically when we do cast them, we see them play super slow now. They just like to play on the outskirts, pass constantly, and when they have that moment to score, they'll go for it. Otherwise, they'll just drag it out. And we've seen the passing game out of them just be perfect, like the epitome of perfection so far. With the response that came in most recently from Gravity, though, I would expect the clips to try and get a little bit more aggressive again. However, you're right, though. They are holding it back a little bit right now. Just to set up the passing routine, I would believe, though, as Lemming receives the disc, sends it back over to Simeon, who will pass it forward again to Palador. They've got themselves a triangle form right now. Here's that two-man combo on the re-grab, so it's going to try to interfere with this passing rotation. Doesn't really serve its goal just there yet. There it is. There's the missed pass, however, that sends it into the hands of Affenter instead. And now Team Gravity picks it up. Another race, however, to the other side. Neither team with massive possession, but Eclipse was able to get it for a moment to send it back further and hopefully out of the danger zone for themselves. Yeah, Lemmy gonna go for the full clear here as it's now on the side of Gravity. Simeon's gonna be up there. Jersey's gonna just slap it back to his teammate. Vitrex will be there. He's gonna look for the pass off as well, but it goes right into the hands of Lemming, who potentially can get it back to a teammate here. Affentera comes in from the backside, punching his way, hopefully to victory. But Simeon, now with the disc in his hand, looking for potentially two points. He's gonna have to go for the shot, but Jersey will be there to block it out. And still looking for the clear. In the meantime, we still have Eclipse with control. Simeon will take it. Now back over to Lemming on the outside. He's going to look for an open opportunity to try to get this closer. Maybe even go for a three-pointer himself. He doesn't even have to. He literally can just sit back. Mm -hmm. He can force Jersey to come out to him. He's taking so much time off the board. That was another 10 seconds wasted. And they know with the six-point lead, with the amount of time remaining, the chance for gravity to come back is so slim. Palador now moving in, and again, as you mentioned, really just trying to waste time at this point. They still have a six-point lead with under 30 seconds. It's not going to leave really a whole lot of room at all. It's near impossible oh at this gosh. point, and even another three-pointers. They do find an opening opportunity. Eclipse Great will re-secure their advantage Force as they pretty much got oh, yeah. the first map in the bag now. Yeah, so let's be fair here for Gravity. I mean, obviously, that was a good shot by Eclipse, but Gravity had to do something, right? When you have that disc just being danced around you the entire time, when you've had, I think it was honestly like a minute of time wasted with that possession out of Eclipse, you have to go for it. And with the score difference you already have, three points extra is not going to matter, especially if you can't grab the disc back. So this should be Eclipse tying things up at one apiece. But Eclipse have looked so strong here. I don't know what Gravity is going to do into the next round to, you know, really come together. And Terra will pick up the initial possession out of the launch gates, waiting for a quick opportunity to pass. They pretty much have to go for three-pointers at this point. That's, that would be their only hope of getting back into it with this little amount of time left. A quick pass to Viatrex, a near attempted goal, but it is going to miss slightly. And now, with under 10 seconds remaining, it is nigh impossible for Gravity to get back into it. So it's a safe bet to say at this point, as we enter the last few seconds, that Team Eclipse will be taking control. Nearly a goal scored at the end there, but unfortunately won't happen. So it's Eclipse that take our first round, which again, because of the series advantage, is now going to tie us up at one to one. So we look at Eclipse and we look at Gravity and Eclipse playing the style that we expect to come into this. Gravity though, again, the talks we've had with them, they've not lived up to what they've said. They've not lived up to the, the style that they were looking to play. We haven't seen that two-man aggression out of Iatrex in Jersey. We haven't seen them really chase the disc ground. We did have finally one opportunity to see it, which eventually did lead to a missed pass out of Eclipse. 
But by then, the score difference was already six points, and there was like one minute remaining, so it didn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. And even though it was a missed pass, the problem was is that the guys on Team Gravity only held possession for a few seconds. Oh, yeah, they yeah, yeah, right yeah, 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 hands just a few yeah, seconds later. So overall, just the possession game has really played heavily into Eclipse's favor on this first round, and it's going to be one of the big questions for Gravity going into the second and every, of course, subsequent rounds is how they're going to try to work that back into their favor a little bit. Well, we're going to see as we're about to actually kick off our second map here. Technically the third in the series of this best of five. The grand finals of season two. We've been covering this back since May, Blue. It's nice to see it come into fruition and come to a closure here as Eclipse is looking to defend that title they got from last year. And Gravity looking for the upset. Oh my the goodness! Guy. What a start right there. Palador getting right in the face of one of the members of Team Gravity. Stunning him, taking the disc out of his hand and just slamming it right into the goal. Very well done. And a nice start for Team Eclipse to give them an extra two points here. Only 10 seconds into the start of the round. Unfortunately for Gravity, even even the shots they have made, they actually haven't been like super loud and super aggressive about it. Like we see Simeon screaming across the entire hall. Pretty sure. It can be heard from anywhere in the si inside of this building. But the Joust advantage for Gravity now. I'm curious to see, is Apatar going to hold on to the disc a little bit more? Or is he going to quickly pass it off again? Looks like he will hold on to it, waiting to bait in a defender, which we do see. Lemming goes really aggressive over towards Viatrex. And this is what I was, I was hoping to see, actually, out of him. Just kind of play it slow. There's no need to actually get super aggressive off of this. And he's going to go for the pass to the high guard. It looks like it will just barely miss, though. We'll be recovered, though, eventually. But I believe Jersey, with the bout, favors the way of Eclipse, and they get the clear. Disc was thrown loose there, so now it's going to be a little bit of a race. However, Aventura hitches a ride on the Eclipse players, so he's going to be able to send it right back into their territory. Keeping the pressure on to Eclipse for right now. Viatrex will move in. Nice block from, one, from Palador to be able to save his own life. He'll get the pass, but it is intercepted by VR Jersey, sending it right back up the field right now. Gravity's hello, doing a hello, great job of keeping hello. the pressure on, and they're even going to be able to secure it. It is a self goal as well at the end of the day there as Palador tries to stop it, but it's too far gone. So it'll go into goal, and Gravity get three points on the board. You can literally hear Aventur laughing at that one, actually, from the <laughs> stage. Oh, he's so happy about it, but to be fair, Aventur was the man to score that 64-meter shot in the Grand Finals against Eclipse that we saw back in Leicester in July. Three points. It's going to get in the lead for the first time. Now the question for me is, Blue, can they maintain the lead? Can they grow this lead to a position they're going to be feeling comfortable? Or is there going to be a rough time, as it looks like we're having a quick pause here for both teams? But here we go. Looks like we're about to kick this one off. So we are getting corrected. It will be a two point instead of three. So indeed, the three points should not have counted. But that still means we're tied up. And that's a position gravity hasn't really been in against Eclipse past the first like 15 second mark of a round starting. So here we go, folks. Players have been launched out of the gate. It's going to be Eclipse, of course, now, since we did just see Team Gravity start. And we'll start out with a bit of a disc advantage for themselves to play off of. If it's going to last, however, it's not looking likely. We'll have to see how Eclipse is able to chain this passing routine it's together. It's a 2 on 3, though. Palador is actually back and towards his own air. And speaking of him, actually pass back to him as he pushes up to try to keep that triangle formation going. We're going to see Lemming move in now. Not the clearest goal attempt, but he'll be able to swing in and get a nice little stun off at least just after he passes it away. It's Palador making a forward push now. Gets him just to the edge of the bubble. Over to Lemming. Now over to Simeon as well. It's picked up by Aventer, though. Stolen right out of Simeon's hands, but they still have possession. A stun will take it out. Sends it into the hands of, I believe, Lemming instead now, who's floated up to get out of there. Right over to Palador once again, and they'll try to make one more play at the goal, but it'll fail. Aventer stops it once more and gets it clear way past the midfield. What were we saying about Aventer? Best goalie in the game at the moment. Moment, proving it yet again as he had multiple people around him that could have slapped him and actually punched him out so he wasn't be able to defend. But they get the clear back out. Try to look for the pass over to Aventer. He's got Jersey off to the side that's wide open. Looking for the one-on-one -on -one towards the goal. Can he make the shot happen as Lemmy rotates in from behind? Viatrex comes in, but that gets caught out on. And Eclipse are going to go for the clear. That's a great stop once again from Eclipse's goalie. Clears it, as you mentioned, back past the midfield. Aventer is fast to move on that, however, and he's immediately got possession back for the gravity roster. The initial pass, though, doesn't look too clean, or at the very minimum, Eclipse got in the way of it, but it's still going to be maintained by gravity for now. Another pass towards VR Jersey. Goal was relatively open, but they jumped on it. Oh, they tried to dive on him. It won't work. So we'll see gravity score again. Another two-pointer for them to put them in the lead now at 4-2. You know, I think Aventer's had it with played, you know, uh, the anchor for the team. He's pushed up. He scored both goals for them now. Doing fantastic. Doing God's work here as they now take the lead, most importantly, in the series and in this round. And Eclipse, they're going to be the ones that need to adjust their strategy here as Eclipse, or as Gravity have made the adjustments themselves. But do they have the ability to do that? We typically see Eclipse always playing that slow style. But again, I know they have their coach here. I know he's obviously been watching their last matches. I know he was saying before he wants to hear them more. He wants to hear them communicating a bunch more between the team. 
you could see how quickly there, by the way, Team Gravity was able to get across the arena and dive on top of the player who was meant to receive the pass from Eclipse. Really great work on the re-grabs there from Team Gravity, which is basically an infinite speed boost that allows two players at the same time to go just zip across the arena. And they're going to make another aggressive push here right now to try to score once again. All three again, again and it's Affin Terror just casually floating inside of the bubble to secure another goal. He's doing a little victory dance too, right after that one. <laughs> But what can't this man do? He can defend against two people. He can come in and score all three goals now for Gravity. Certainly making a run for an MVP medal in oh, this yeah. final. That's oh, for yeah. sure. 100%. Don't know if we have one, but we might need to get one just for him with the way he's playing right now. <laughs> just, you know, just get a drink. I think he'll be happy. <laughs> right, here we go. Into the next joust here for Eclipse. They're going to have that initial control. Again, let's see how quickly Gravity get across the field. They will get there to go for that two-man push. And again, Gravity have kind of stouted to us that they're really impressed and probably one of the best at how quickly they can do 90-degree turns while boosting off each other. Great interception comes in. Jersey does secure the disc. Going for the long-range shot. It's oh! going to land in Gravity. Another three points. Going to be up nine to two. Gravity is just... However, that might not count. Sorry, I had to look to my left, and it looks like Paldor and Simeon have headphones off trying to discuss something. Maybe something happened in that one. But either way, we're seeing Gravity play like a completely different team, not to take away from the goal. They are playing fantastic now. Once again, folks, we are just working on sorting that out really quickly, and then we'll be continuing on with more action here at the Grand Finals. Already in the midst of our second round, which currently, once more, Team Gravity has the advantage on. After, unfortunately, not faring so well in their first round, they've bounced back heavily. We'll have to see if that is going to continue out throughout the rest of this second round, however, and if they can chain it back to now take the lead 2-1 to one in the series. Yeah, as we can see, if, as we look around here on the stage, by the way, the stage is fantastic. Also, if you guys missed in the Onward Finals that happened yesterday, make sure to go check that out because the stage in the main room, amazing. Honestly, amazing. Mm -hmm. It was probably one of the best stages I've ever seen. I've been around for six years of new sports. I can, I can think of very few other events that can rival the stage we had there. So it was really cool to see that one. So obviously you can check that out. You can also check out the Unspoken. You know, the Grand Finals happened yesterday on this stage. And then we have as well Sprint Vector coming up later on today after we do finish off Echo Arena. Yeah, we talked about that. That'll be immediately following the Grand Finals here, folks. So be sure to stick around the streams. We still have plenty of more action to come through Sprint Vector. It'll be eight races in a row between seven players, maybe eight, but we'll have to see as Jason was mentioning before, unfortunately, we did lose one of our contestants in the last minute. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, you got it. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> as we do get confirmation from production there, we are going to have to head to a short break again. We do apologize. But, hey, with the action we've already had today, it's great to see how damn good these two teams are. We'll see you guys hopefully in a few minutes. Welcome back, everyone, to the VR League Season 2 Grand Finals of Echo Arena. As it looks like all the problems... Knock with me. Knock with me, Blue. I don't think this actually would. Um, have been sorted. It looks like everyone is ready to go around the arena. Currently, we're all tied up at one apiece between the two teams. The official ruling of what did happen before we had those breaks was that the three point does not count. So we'll be going back into this one with Gravity having the six to two lead in a few seconds. Yeah, just have to uh, basically just have to have our players launch into the arena here yeah. and get the last. Have to wait for 30 seconds. It was 2.14. Was, the, uh, was that the, the timer? Time. That was okay. the time. So, so obviously ignore what's going to happen now. But again, just to re refresh your memories, we had Gravity beat Eclipse earlier on today in the winter bracket final. So they came into the grand finals with a 1-0 lead. But that 1-0 was quickly dismantled of as Eclipse just wiped the floor with Gravity in the first actual game. Yep. So to just quickly explain what's going on right now, basically uh, the players have to reset the not only the timer at the correct point, which could have been done normally, but they also have to make sure that the joust advantage is appropriately situated as well so that we don't end up resetting into I'm, a new. I'm waiting to watch joust. Jersey just mess this up. There we go. Nice. It was 214-27. You messed it up. Ah. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. That's the only that's the only goal he's scoring today. Hey, no, I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. I was hoping the crowd would laugh about that one. Then everyone's like, Jason, you're fine. Oof. You're out of here. Miss on that one. Yeah, so. a little miss. A little, <laughs> a little miss. miss. It's all right. We'll keep on trucking. But I thought we had more Eclipse fans, so I thought they'd be happy about that. All right. Well, either way, we're getting back into it. Eclipse will have the joust advantage as we will be having our players relaunch. This is live now, ladies and gentlemen. So let's get into it. Team Gravity at a 6-2 to two lead. Let's see if they can maintain it and take the second actual round of play to take the lead at 2-1 to one in the series. Okay. Again, you're seeing Viatrex and Vera Jersey one, one, stick one, together, one, trying to get aggressive, trying to go for those 90 degree turns. Looks like they've messed up, though. The daisy chain across, which has forced Aphitar to be kind of by himself. But they regroup. We get to contest Simeon, who's going to pass off to his teammate. Powder, who gets immediately interrupted. Boost off, it's going to be Viatrex looking for the pickup here, but Lemon's able to secure the disc and pass off to another teammate. 
pass over to him. He's got a clear opportunity here, but he's not going to want to take it just yet. It's too heavy of a risk, unfortunately, with the goalie still inside. So he'll send it back over into Palador's hands now. Over towards Lemming. He's got Fierro Jersey at Danger Club, so he's got to be careful. That will float back a little bit. Another pass over to the man in the back of the lane. That's going to be Palador that takes possession once again. They're looking for the transfer over to Simeon. Is Simeon close enough to go for the goal? He is, but it is blocked and battled back out of their bubble, sending it to the midfield. Apatar is such a beast in the goal, as you see there yet again, able to block out that one. But most importantly, protect himself from being punched out. So he would be unable to actually defend this one. Goes for a very deep pass here, potentially over to Viatrex, who's trying to pick up the disc. But unfortunately, it's not going to be there in time. Might have been able to catch on Lemming. He does secure the disc and looks for a clear himself back up to a teammate. And Eclipse back on the attack. Dangerous loose disc there, it looked like almost for a second. But thankfully for Eclipse, they are able to get recovery of it. And now Palador with partial possession tries to throw it away. It will thankfully be recovered by Lemming. So for now, Eclipse still with strong uh -oh. possession. A good opportunity off the backboard and it'll go in. Securing a three-pointer for Eclipse at 6-5 to five now. It's like watching Affinter. They just scored three points against you. What is he doing? He's clapping. He's like, yeah, it's a good shot. It's a good job. <laughs> Came in off the backboard. Get Sportsman between the both teams. But now, it's Gravity with Joust Advantage and with 50 seconds to go, one goal. If you could just get two points on the board, you make it so at the minimum, you're gonna have an overtime against Eclipse. Very much so, so let's see if they're gonna be able to do it. Let's see if Gravity can maintain that advantage here and keep themselves in the lead or if they're just gonna try to waste time and run down this clock. At this point, not a bad strategy given how aggressive Eclipse have been against them. And we are gonna see actually the disc get picked up by VR. Jersey will go in for another goal for his team. It won't be successful, however. It's picked up instead by Palador on Eclipse now and sent back over past the midpoint. Yeah, but who's gonna be there? A big skirmish happening on that side of the field. Aphantar is sitting in the middle as well trying to disrupt anyone trying to get towards the disc. It's just kind of being left on its own. Aphantar has backed away. Should be able to pick it up. He's got a lot of pressure behind him. It's gonna be stolen away. I think it's gonna be Simi who picks up and he goes to the three points and he clips now. Taking the lead by two. Simi with a beautiful launch assisted by his teammates, of course, just to be able to get over there in time. They zapped him from the other side of the field over to there to steal it directly out of the hands of Team Gravity, it would appear. And now, it's like a barnstorming three-pointer that is going to allow them to hold the advantage. And for Team Gravity, they now only have 22 seconds to basically rush and try to score another two-pointer so that they can at least attempt to trigger in overtime. If they can get a three-pointer, that'll be great. They'll still win the round, but I think a two-pointer is what they have to aim for at this point. Curious if Eclipse is actually going to keep people in the goal to stop the three from happening, just to make sure at a minimum, a overtime to be a, a quick pass up to VR Jersey. He's got Viatrex pushed up as well, but they don't have the clear shot just yet. The pass is going to come in a little bit. Wow, it's going to be a curve by Eclipse, and they're going to go for the clear with 10 seconds left. I don't think they have time left here for Gravity. The interception might have just secured as now the disc is directly back inside of Team Gravity's bubble. We've got players launching it, but there's just no time to get the disc back to the other side, and it won't even matter. Timer will expire, and it's going to be Eclipse, ladies and gentlemen, that they will take control of round number two here. And with that, they also take the lead in the series at two to one. One more, and they take the championship. So Eclipse, after losing early on in the winner bracket, looking to come back after beating Metamerx in the loser bracket finals now. One round away, as you said, Blue. Stands between them and victory. And of course, defending that title from last year. Obviously, a little bit of a different roster if you're just joining us. They actually do have the player they had before, I Shiny, as their coach. And you guys might recognize I Shiny, actually an Overwatch player, looking to get himself into the Overwatch League this like, this coming season. We'll have to see how well that fares for him, but it does look like, guys, we are going to be probably jumping back into the game relatively quickly here. I think we've pretty much got our players nearly ready to go, as they had a pretty decent break, obviously, just a few minutes ago that they've returned from. So, shouldn't be too exhausted, should be pretty much ready to jump right back into the fight after, I imagine, just a minute or two of re-strategizing here. Yeah, I mean, we saw uh, some misplays actually out, out of gravity when we saw Vitrex and Vero Jersey try to get aggressive. They actually kind of missed jou or miss, miss the re-grabs against each other, which they've started as being like some of the best in, in the entire world at. Um, so maybe the nerves getting to them, maybe that little bit of a cold period that did happen from the last game to this one or from, from the break that we did have, unfortunately. But they need to regroup. They're not, they're not out just yet, Blue, but we need to see them fix those mistakes that they've been really struggling with so far in the series. And they had a great start to that previous uh, round as well here. You have to wonder if the lengthy break kind of just broke the, the solid momentum that they had going for themselves. It's unfortunate what ended up happening. They really had the pressure on to Eclipse for a while there. Unfortunately, we didn't see that fire keep going as we got came back from the break. Now uh -oh. launching into the next round already. It's Eclipse on the board, stealing the disc away. And with that, they're immediately able to connect onto a three point of the goals that even defended. Gravity wasn't able to get back in time. Yeah. Aventer is actually being disrupted. I'm not sure who it was on Eclipse's side, but he kept him away from the goal, allowing Simeon to pick up the quick shot for the three points. And 
Well, unfortunate for Gravity to start things off that way, but luckily for them, they keep the Joust advantage. They keep the disc on their side of the field. Now, I want to see Apatera again, who's going to be the quarterback, play it slow across the field. There's no need to get aggressive unless Eclipse are the ones getting in your face. You kind of have to wage how are they playing defensively against us. It looks like they will be getting aggressive. They actually go for the very far pass straight up ahead, looking for Viatrex, but goes right into the hands of Palador. He's going to be bouncing back and forth. But for now, after Palador, it's transferred to Lemming. He's just going to float forward up the field. He's got pressure coming up from behind him. Needs to send it back soon. And unfortunately, he has to do it a little bit too quickly. So it's going to be off the mark. Simeon's not able to catch up to it in time. And the loose disc will end up in the hands of Affenter. He's going to try to go for a passing routine down the field. He got stunned out. Vitrex successfully defended himself. He's floating in, but no Eclipse. Their relaunch gets them back inside, but it won't matter. Vitrex in a 1v2 secures the shot for a two-pointer response Very and good. puts us at a scoreline of 2-3 to three three now. Plan. I ain't gonna 1v1 one one anymore. You do the 1v1s. Yes, I just give huh? you a much needed goal here out of Iatrex as well for the team. Just to kind of keep them in this one. I would imagine if Eclipse scored another three points against them or even just two, how mentally down they would be on themselves. The thing is, Affinter, he's been through the situation before in the in the July finals we did have. There was a major break due to technical issues before the uh, series did complete. And even with the lead they had, they actually unfortunately lost out on that one. So hopefully for his sake and his team's sake, he's been able to keep them together. Now back on the attack here for Eclipse. Paldor, looking for the push up. It's actually aggressed on. It's gonna get stolen away. Jersey, at least look for the clear, gets it downfield. But where's the follow-up? Will it be there in time? Arc's a little bit off as well, so it's gonna end up closer to the ceiling. Actually, That's no, two. it bounced down perfectly. So there we go. Gravity capitalized on that. Quick re-grab push coming in from Affinter along with VR Jersey to get them inside of the goal and to secure that two-pointer to now give them the lead at four to three. As well, all this action happening, we've only used up about 20% of the time on the clock as we're down to four minutes. Nice math, Blue. I was like, 20%? <laughs> That's actually right. I'm impressed. <laughs> but now Eclipse with the Joust. You're gonna have the initial control. I wonder if they're gonna look for the threes or the twos yet again here, or will Gravity with Vitrex and VR Jersey be able to maintain and stick to their targets again? Watch them on the screen. And try to be bouncing between all the players, forcing those quick passes. You can see they're keeping the disc on the enemy side of the arena. Looks like Simeon's been able to clear it though. Over to Lemmy, who's gonna be in a one-on-one -on -one up against Affinter. He has a clear shot on the goal here. He's waiting for the reinforcers to come oh. back in, but it's gonna be stolen away by Jersey. Intercepted just as it was about to be flung into the goal there. Nicely done once again from the defensive squad over here on Team Gravity. They'll maintain possession, but not for long. It's right back into the hands of Eclipse again a few moments later. Simeon moving it in over to Lemming now. Won't go for the goal yet. It's going to be Simeon, though, that ends up securing it. Another inside shot for a two pointer to put Eclipse back in control now, five to four. fucking passing, guys. Good shit. He said good stuff, by the way, if you're in the audience listening. I heard it. <laughs> Four to five, though, Eclipse able to take the lead back. So we're starting to see the game that we expected, right? You have the two of the best teams, one from Europe, one from North America. We expected them to go back and forward, where Eclipse is looking like they potentially were going to pull off a shutout here in the series. This is what we're hoping for, and Gravity, now with their control on the disc, looking to get a couple more points on the board. I think we are indeed seeing that back and forth nature that you were talking about, especially here in this third round. The first two definitely swing to be a little bit more one-sided towards Eclipse, except for the beginning of the second round, which I talked about before. Gravity did a really good job of keeping pressure on Eclipse. We just didn't see that stay consistent throughout the second round. And while Gravity do get away with some nice forward possession to start, it's stolen away by their forward player, and Eclipse now takes it instead. Currently in the hands of Lemming, he's going to move down the field before probably passing it to their side. No, Aventura gets in the way, but the backboard shot to try and compensate for that is unfortunately a miss. They still have control of the disc though. Powder can be picked back up, pass it back to Simon, who's actually gonna lose control of the disc. Aventura's gonna come in and get the clear away. So good job by Gravity to do that, but what can they accomplish off the back of the disc? Completely on the other side, you can see them trying to use each other, even enemies becoming friends, just to get across the field as quick as possible. Jersey gets the pickup, he's looking for the 1v1, he's looking for the shot. Lemmings not gonna be able to block out on this one, and Gravity back in the lead. You can even see him trying to bait the goalie out a little bit there too, using the arm movements and the capabilities of the touch controllers to try and get his opponent to jump out of goal a little bit early, which would have opened up an easier opportunity for him to score, but unfortunately, not the case, but still managed to sink it anyway. So now Team Gravity shifts back into the lead, at least for now. We'll have to see, though, as Eclipse has already shown us many times that they can bounce back just as quickly. And again, not a lot of time being used up in these volleys. That last one probably being one of the longer ones yet, but even so, we still have over half the time in the round remaining. Here we go. Now Eclipse with control. Paladur, initial quarterback for his team here. Pass off to Simeon. They're actually playing a lot closer together, but Simeon has a, a relatively clear path towards the goal. He only has half a tear between him and another two or potentially three points. They're actually all being held up on the and the other side of the field, actually, by his teammates. They're going to be coming. He's going to be by himself. He goes for the shot, and Alphatera can't block it. Simeon again 
with all seven points for his team. Gravity flying by and seemed at just the correct time as well to be able to intercept that, but great pacing coming out from Simeon. Didn't shoot at his first opportunity, waited for the perfect moment, and is able to secure another response for Eclipse, which again, this trading nature still serves to keep, keep Eclipse in control of it because of the three-pointer they scored earlier in the match. Powder and Lemmy doing a great job of actually blocking out Vitrex and VR Jersey, keeping them as long as they possibly could on their side of the field, because when it comes down to 1v1 and you're attacking with the disc, it should generally favor you. The defender has a very hard time blocking against that. And here we go, you can see the aggression come out of Eclipse this time, trying to meet them halfway. A very deep pass coming in, looking for a, an advantageous bounce. It's going to go straight in the hands of VR Jersey, who has Powder to block, and he won't be able to do just that, and that's going to be Gravity again with two points. Once again, able to outwit the goalie from Eclipse. They get in for a quick two-pointer there. So the back and forth nature of this match continues and seems to be getting quicker and quicker as we use less and less time for each of these volleys. Players are pretty much just being let through at this point and allowed to go for those 1v1s against each team's respective goalie. You'll be proud of me, Blue. Almost 60% of the time now being used. <laughs> Is that right? That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I knew it. I think so. <laughs> I think so. It's 20% a minute, so. There we go. Now back into the next joust here for Eclipse. Yeah, and pay attention to the mini-map. As Viatrex and VR Jersey are going to push to immediately across, try to bounce between target and target and target. Looks like they've been able to actually dislodge the disc. Viatrex now the disc in hand, looking to make the push-up. It's an interesting throw off the uh, high side of the arena. Let's straight into the hands of Palador. Had an enemy nearby, so I think he had to try and go for a high shot, just to keep it away from him and stop the intercepting, uh -oh, which no ends up goal. happening anyway, as we're now going to be able to see Eclipse take possession. They try to go for a backboard shot. It looks like it even goes off the rim of the goal. It's not going to win. They need Lemming to secure it, but he'll do just that. Another quick two-pointer scored by Eclipse. And they're back in the lead again now at 9-8. Yeah, looks like Aventer just barely missed the, the disc grab there, too, because he was in a position to pick it up, but just kind of slipped through his fingers. Constantly, every time one team scores, the other responds within the next 20 seconds of time, and now Gravity with their chance. A minute and 40 left, so we're starting to hit that point where every goal is obviously going to matter, but it's even more important, especially when time will be taken off the board here. But let's see, Aventer, immediate pass up over to his teammate, VR Jersey. VR Jersey's got a good amount of cushioning right now in terms of spacing, so he'll put it into Viatrex's hands. Viatrex is surrounded, though, as he goes inside. He's going to try to brute force it. Won't work. Eclipse, just too many men inside of that three-point bubble, so they are able oh, to clear Simeon's it back the other himself. way. Oh, no! It's going to happen again now, as we are going to see Simeon go directly onto the inside. It's another two-pointer once more. You can see a member of Team Gravity arriving just a few seconds too late, unfortunately. Eclipse constantly winning these re-grab races to the other side of the arena after hard clears. And now, it's finally given Eclipse a little bit of a buffer, and there's not a whole lot of time left for Gravity to make up for that. That all just comes down to, as well, the push out of Itrex up against three in the goal. Obviously, high risk, high reward there. And the high risk did not pay out for them as Eclipse able to steal that one away and get Simeon free on the other side of the arena. But now Gravity looking for three points, looking to tie things up here. And they have time to do it, but will they have the shot to do it is the question. Remember, folks, this is a series point we're coming up on here as well now for Eclipse. If they take this, if we don't see a response from Gravity within the next minute, that's it. Eclipse is going to take home the trophy and the 18 grand that goes with it via Trex. Though getting very close to another goal, but it's just stopped. Lemming with a reach through past the goal, saves it once again for his team and sends it the other way. Oh, gets blocked off by the force field. That was almost certainly going in. Jersey's going to get punched up here. It's going to be recovered by the side of Eclipse as it looks like Gravity able to slap it away in the meantime. Goes on towards the side of Eclipse's field. That's going to be the orange team here with Gravity able to secure the disc, looking for a shot here. They actually see Vitrex tagging along with Aventer. Jersey going to get passed up to, but again, it gets blocked out on Eclipse now with 38 seconds left. Clear it. We're going down to the wire here, folks. 30 seconds remaining. Gravity needs to find a response. If they want to take this to overtime, it needs to be a three-pointer here now. They're going to try to set it up. The player who just passed got stunned out there. Same for every player oh, who's pass. passing it at this point. It's going to be loosened because of that VR jersey. will be able to pick it up. He gets stunned once again, too. Aventera takes it. He's going to be floating in. There's a low amount of time, and they'll take a goal where they can get it, as now they put it at 10 to 11. The problem, though, is there's less than 20 seconds remaining on the clock, and they still need to score again. OK, Blue, Gravity has talked to us about they've been sometimes able to get so close to getting across the field to actually attack the quarterback before he even picks up the disc. If there's any time they're able to successfully pull it off, it's got to be now because if Eclipse get control of that disc, they can slow down the pace as much as they possibly can. And you have to hope if you're gravity for a missed pass. Here we go. Three seconds till the kickoff and 18 seconds left to go in the game. 
We've already seen them race across the arena once. They're going to have to do it once again. Won't be able to beat the, the blue team, unfortunately, to picking it up, but they do stun the initial player that picks pass. it up out. Simeon, however, misses oh, his pickup, so seconds. they may have a chance at this. Less than 10 seconds left. VR Jersey is going to be moving you in. You have to make it. Be and he sinks it. 12 to 11. Gravity have the lead now. And with only less than five seconds remaining, I don't see any room for a response from Eclipse. Well, here we go now, into the last five seconds. Eclipse, I, I almost think it's not even possible to score with five seconds. You have to hope for a Hail Mary of a throw and hope that it, uh, somehow Gravity mess up the defense. But Blue, I think it's gonna happen. I think we're going to a fifth and final match. And there we go, the countdown. They're gonna try to race across the arena, but it's intercepted midway, so that'll sink it, ladies and gentlemen. Team Gravity picks up this round with only one point lead in their favor, and with that, they now tie the series up at two to two, a fully loaded set. So we've got one more round headed your way to be the final decider of who takes home not only the trophy, but the 18 grand that goes with it. Well, you remember how we always talk about with Eclipse, their passing game is on point. And the one time they mess up a pass there, it gets taken advantage of by Gravity. And they're able to turn that into another two. No! Ideally, well, I mean, as we did see, a victory. Very much so. So a great comeback from Team Gravity. Yeah, right there, that missed pass. Especially considering the kind of back and forth nature of this match was going on to end in such an epic spree as well and a great comeback from Team Gravity. I said it, unfortunately, with Eclipse scoring that second two-pointer after we had a streak of just one, 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 yeah. one from each side. Finally, we saw Eclipse pick up two in a row. And at that point, it was basically up to Gravity to do the same thing in response. And thankfully, they did it with just over five seconds on the clock remaining, basically. Honestly, if I was a close, I'd be a little bit scared of Iatrex because he had a couple of shots there. Remember when he went in 1v3? He tried to go for the shot into the goal, missed it because he got blocked out on, and that's when we saw Eclipse score against him and actually took a three-point lead mm -hmm. and took the lead in a more solid way. And, and again, he went for another shot later on, missed out on that one, but finally they're at the end to get that final shot to actually get them the lead and get them the victory. He's got to be pumped up, and I think this is where gravity is going to become very scary. Well, here we go, folks. It's the last round here. Now, this one decides it as we're locked at 2 2 in a best of five. First to three will win it, and they're both one point away. So let's see who takes home the trophy, who takes home the prize money, and who unfortunately will have to settle for second place. It's not going to be Eclipse right now, though, as once again, with some great movement from Lemming there to juke himself off of the force field just to throw off his opponent, secures the opening two pointer once again for Eclipse. I wonder if we're going to have the same back and forward game here, Blue, in the fifth and final map of our grand finals. This is the end. This is the conclusion of what we've been working on since May with the VR League. And we should mention that as well, because this is a best of five and players are used to playing best of threes, even though it's only really a four map series with a point advantage, these players usually don't go for that long. They usually don't test themselves for that length of time in a single series. So these players are really going to be drawn not only to the limit of their mental capability to play Ooh. the game, but oh, look at this, we've got a good opportunity. We'll cover that in a second. But also their physical capabilities as well are really going to be tested here because they're not used to playing series this long. There we go, Vitrex now slowing the pace down. Gets a pass up to Jersey. He's going to look for the shot. He's going to miss out on this one as Lemmy's going to get the block and the clear. And Affinter going to be there to use to help get his team back across the field, which they should be able to in time. You see Eclipse trying to crash out on this one, but Lemmy's not able to actually secure the disc another time. And it will be pretty much out in zero gravity for the time being. Well, the clips will be able to pick it up, if, if at least temporarily. This is actually just going back and forth between the teams right now. Nobody re really able to get solid possession. It looks like, however, that may be changing with Eclipse's most recent pickup. And this is inside of Gravity's territory. It's back to Palador, their control player right now. He'll send it forward on the field. Simeon with the pickup. He doesn't necessarily have a goal opportunity just yet. He might decide to use Lemming. Down to him, but VR Jersey sneaks out from behind him and is able to pick it up, steal it away, and give it to Gravity for now. However, that doesn't last long. Yeah, it only buys him a few seconds just to regroup and try to Forward. I figure out their next plan of attack here in defense. You can see Lemmy now go for the pass on the high side over to Simeon. Looking for a shot back to Lemmy again. They're trying to bait out Gravity to come out defensively. And they're stalling for a lot of time. And, you know, keep in mind, we had the first goal, you know, four minutes and 49 seconds left of the clock. And we've already seen another minute pass. Lemmy comes back in from the side. Eclipse now with the 4 0 lead. Eclipse, they take a long time to do it, but they draw out the, they draw out the offensive occasion that they have going against Team Gravity here. They know they have them under pressure. They know eventually they're going to make a mistake, which leaves a hole open for a goal. That's exactly what Eclipse capitalize upon right there. Catch Team Gravity. They don't necessarily have a goalie in the right spot to stop that. And it's an easy two pointer for them to get up to four. There we go. Gravity being relatively quiet this entire round. They've got the joust advantage, they've got the disc in hand. I wonder if Avatar is going to continue to play the aggressive style by passing up immediately, or is he going to push with the disc himself? 
Looks like he will fall for the ladder of those two. And we've seen Gravity be very successful with this kind of strap kind of attack. Ooh. But Lemmy comes in. He gets the interception. Now they're scrambling to pick up the disc as quick as they can. Aventarius are trying to hold on for time. Luckily for them, though, Vitrex is going to be there. And Vitrex will secure the disc for his team. Pass it back to Aventarius to work up the field. Still at the very start of this. They have to try and work themselves towards. However, that's a very nice pass, putting it into VR Jersey's hands. He's going to start swinging forward. Knows he's under pressure, gets stunned out, but got the pass to Vitrex before that happened. Vitrex sends it over to Aventura. Aventura again, quickly released in. It's Vitrex, the table to sink it, scoring the first points of this round for Team Gravity at yeah, 2 to 4. Just slowing it down like that, exactly what we need. Yeah. Just under three minutes of time left here for these two teams. This is the final round. Winner of this one wins the whole thing. And the $18,000. We're trying to find out if Gravity can topple the defending champions from last year. And Eclipse looking to maintain that position of being the top dog in, Ecl uh, in Echo Arena in general that they have been for pretty much a year time. And they've been able to do it in pretty much every Echo Arena land they've attended here so far. So it's just a question of whether they can keep the dominant streak going. And they're very close to doing that. It is going to be quite the brawl, however, for control of the disc at the start of this round. We've got players getting stunned out on both sides, left and right. Gravity will maintain it for now, but it's not secured just yet. There we go. Now they've got a lock on it as that pass to Viatrex is a success. He'll send it forward to VR Jersey. It'll be a little bit dangerous here now is more than likely he'll have to send it back. Yep, into Aventer. Sends it right forward on the field of a VR jersey once again, but unfortunately another missed pass sends it into the hands of Palador, and that'll clear it towards the midfield. Actually, I'll say that was even a missed pass. That was Palador seeing the pass come across his field of vision and jumping out of the goal. But in the meantime, Vitrix able to pick up the disc here, goes for the shot, just swings a little bit wide with an unfortunate as they're looking for another interception to potentially come in. But the throw on the low side, oh no, Eclipse has cleared this one. We need to see Gravity get back as quick as they possibly can. The shot gonna potentially come in, but no. Lemmy going to hold on to this one, realizing time is on their side, as well as the score, and they don't want to mess this up. Lemming, however, definitely getting himself ready for a three-pointer there, but saw at the last second the big rush of Team Gravity players moving in to secure a defensive setup, but it won't end up mattering as they're able to delay once again, go for a passing routine, and set Simeon up for a quick two-pointer from up on top of the arena to put a clip at six with just under two minutes left on the clock now. Sick fucking play. said sick play, Blue. Sick play. Gravity now with control of the disc. They have to make something happen here. I, I really worry that if they lose control of the disc, Eclipse is so good as a team and so good at passing that they will drain every second they possibly can off that clock because it is a two-score game difference between the two teams. Now, here we go. Gravity on the joust with the pickup. Aventura immediately going to go for the aggressive pass over to VR Jersey. He's going to get stunned up here. Looking for Viatrex. He's going to connect back to Aventura. Looking to get across this field. If they're going to score, they have to do it quickly. Out the gates quickly. VR Jersey takes it. Quick pass over to Aventer as he's going to try closing in on the three point bubble now. Oh, taken right out of his hands as he was ready to swing, however, as Lemming steals it away in Eclipse. Oh, they're going to run away with this right now. I don't see any hope of Gravity getting back in time as number 13, Palador, is still running interference. That stopped it, however, from going in. Oh, oh it's him in. He tried to stall for time. He misses the shot. Now VR Jersey gets the recovery. Back to Palador, though. That's not the person he wanted to throw the disc over to. And again, now a minute 10 left to go. Palador can stall as long as they possibly can to take this victory. Simeon sends it back to Palador after receiving a pass from him just seconds before. Down further into the arena into Lemming's hands. It's now him versus Aventer, but Simeon also moving in, and Aventer won't be able to hold the line. So it's Eclipse scoring again. Now at 8-2. to two. Monster! Hell yes! Yeah. The play was fucking beautiful. Great job! They're getting into it. Yeah, I, what, wouldn't you? Yeah, well, you know, on the main stage, quite a bit of money. Yeah, exactly. And you have an eight to two lead. That's such a big difference between the two teams. We haven't seen this since the very first game, actually, between the two, or the first round in this best of five series. And Gravity, you've got 57 seconds to score quite a few goals. Three points, most likely not going to be given to you, so you have to claw your way back with twos. They did it in the last game. Can they do it again here, Blue? And not only do they have such a hefty advantage, but they've really had to work for it is the big key thing out of this one. There's been so many interceptions, just great re-grab plays that has allowed Eclipse to score this many times. They've certainly earned the lead they have. But however, it may be contested soon as Gravity's moving in for an attempt to score. It's being oh. interfered with, however. So a loose disc is going to be set flying. Powell are going to go for the clear, trying to buy time. 30 seconds left to go here, Blue. And Gravity need control this disc. Don't tell me Eclipse is going to score another goal. They have a man lemming with just the disc and a free area in front of him to oh, go for. Close. He has an easy open shot. He's going to go for the two point to buy as much time. He's going to hold on to this one. He's uh, dragging he's digging the time it. He's out. digging it. He wants to know. He's digging it. Showing Gravity they have no chance to come back into this one. The slam dunk. And that's the slam dunk to end the game, basically, Blue.
Our crowd is quite divided on that play, unfortunately, as it's gloating now from Eclipse. As they... It's not even gloating. It's such a smart thing to do. You're buying so much more time. That's true. There's 17 seconds left. He drained off another five to eight seconds. That's a smart play. And when now... money's on the line like that, I would do it any day of the week. And it's brought our timer down to less than 20 seconds here. Gravity needs to find responses, but I don't know if they're going to be able to accomplish it with this little time left on the clock. Yes, they start out with the initial pickup here. Affentera is going to take it. Floating down a quick pass from him to number 27. That should have gone to VR Jersey, but it's going to miss and get bounced back by Eclipse instead. Over to the other way, and now with less than five seconds left, it's not happening, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to go to Eclipse, as they will be your Season 2 champions. The repeat champions as well, coming back from Season 1. They've taken it, ladies and gentlemen, here for Echo Arena. They are your champions. It's Eclipse.